Hi, church family. I'm Elliot. And I'm Shanika, and we've been attending the Mini City for about two years now, this upcoming August. We were introduced to the church by Miss Karima, and once we joined the church, we started experiencing many testimonies. One of the biggest testimonies was the birth of our daughter, Esther. Um, we found out that we was pregnant a month after we got married in 2021, and in October, um, I suffered a miscarriage, but during that time, um, I connected with Pastor Neca, and she gave me some tips, and she also um, connected me with Missy Foma. Uh, Mrs. Foma would call me every day just to check in with me during that miscarriage, and she also recommended us a book to read, which was Supernatural Birthing Experience. Me and my husband, we would read it every night and just read some of the prayers that was in the back of the book. Because of the book and the prayers with Missy Foma, it built my faith up, and from there, we got pregnant again in March of 2022. Uh, I. To be honest, I was a little nervous simply because I had just suffered the miscarriage and I didn't know exactly how this pregnancy was going to turn out. But I kept my faith. And when we went to the doctor, um, they told me I was at risk of preeclampsia. They also advised me that um, I was at risk of being of having gestational diabetes. Well, when they did my blood, my glucose sugar levels was 6.7%. So the doctor ended up diagnosing me with um, type 2 diabetes. And we had to see a high risk doctor. And also because I had open heart surgery um, when I was three, I had to see a cardiologist during my pregnancy. So when they told me that um, I had the type 2 diabetes, I came to church and I let Pastor Steve and Pastor Necker know what was going on. Um, Pastor Steve, he did pray for me and Pastor Necker, she gave me some tips on what to do to lower my um, sugar levels. So I did incorporate that. I changed my eating habits and we also walked 30 minutes a day. Uh, the next appointment, I had to, had to go see my cardiologist, and he did an echo test. And when he did the echo test, he wasn't able to really understand what was going on with my heart. And so uh, I was a little nervous about the MRI just simply because I didn't want to go in the machine. And so I kind of passed it off, but I still was standing in prayer that an MRI wouldn't need to be performed on me. And uh, we came to church and we just gave Pastor Steve the update. He gave us communion and he told us to take the communion a week before um, my scheduled C-section and then to take it the day of. Um, in between that time, uh, we were going through some things uh, with our apartment um, and our vehicle was actually stolen. Uh, my wife, she got in contact with Pastor Steve and I think later on that day, he gave me a call, you know, and he just wanted to know how my wife was doing. And, you know, he also prayed and he told me, you know, that we would have a car very, very soon. Um, so a week, a week went by and we were, you know, going to different places, trying to get a vehicle and we were, you know, getting denied. And so our faith kind of, kind of went down a little bit, um, but we just kept praying and praying. And on November 23rd, um, we got approved for a new vehicle and, um, you know, all we can do is just thank God. And it was actually a better vehicle than we originally had. Um, and all we could do was just thank God. So once we got, when the vehicle was stolen, it was all, cause I was scheduled to give, um, my C-section was scheduled on November 29th. So when we got the new vehicle on November 23rd, it kind of put some relief on me. But during the delivery, uh, they had to do a pre-op to test my blood sugar levels. And they also wanted to check my blood pressure just to make sure I didn't have preeclampsia. And I also checked just the, my sugar levels. So when they, when, in the beginning of this, they diagnosed me with the type 2 diabetes. My sugar levels were 6.7%. At the, next, the last appointment, it was 5.1%. So they ended up saying that I don't have type 2 diabetes no more. They didn't want to put me on any medication. They said that as long as I continue to change my eating habits, that they don't see me having diabetes. And then also, um, during that time, I did lose 62 pounds during my pregnancy, and uh, I was so excited for that. Um, the day of the delivery, it was a lot of confusion. The, doc the anesthesiologist didn't want to perform the anesthesia on me because he didn't know how it would affect my heart because at the time, you know, my doctors back home told me I had a hole in my heart and that the, they had to um, 
close to seal the hole up and replace some valves. And so from their diagnosis, they didn't see where I had the valve replacement. They could hear the heart murmur, but they it looked normal to them. So they was like, they kept asking me, are you sure you had heart surgery? I'm like, yeah, I have the scar to prove that I had the heart surgery. And um, they was just like, you know what? We're just gonna, from my judgment of what we're saying, we don't see it in any um, effects of the anesthesia on you. We're gonna go ahead and schedule your C-section for December 1st. Um, and when December 1st came, um, they wheeled me to the back to start pre prepping me for the C-section. Um, I remember the communion that Pastor Steve gave me and um, I took it and me and my husband, we just prayed. We prayed over the staff that was gonna be involved in the delivery of our daughter. And when we got into the, um, the surgery room, the anesthesiologist, he was having trouble finding my spine. Like, and the doctors was telling him like, it's okay, we could call somebody else. But he just kept, you know, pressing that he wanted to do it. So I began to get a little overwhelmed and um, I just remember God, God was saying to me, I'm in control, I'm in control. So I relaxed and I said, Holy Spirit, I invite you in, take over. And the moment I prayed that another anesthesiologist walked into the room and all it took him was one stick and he found my spine. And from there, my body, you know, went numb and they performed the C-section and they called my husband into the room um, so that they could start doing what they needed to do to get my daughter out. And about maybe 20 minutes later, I heard her cry and I was just thanking God because during this transition, I went from having a miscarriage to getting pregnant to the doctors diagnosing me with diabetes and saying that I'm at risk for preeclampsia. And it was just a shift. I lost weight, my um, sugar levels went down. I never developed preeclampsia. We lost the vehicle, but gained another vehicle. So I just want to thank God for um, his presence in the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much to my small group leader, Ms. Karima, for always being there whenever I needed you. And also Ms. Ifoma, thank you for your constant prayer and also recommending the supernatural birth and experience. And we want to just thank Pastor Steve and Dr. Neka for all of the wisdom and all the encouragement and all the prayers that you put in and brought into our lives. Um, we just want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And this is our beautiful baby girl, Esther Rose. We thank God so much for this miracle that he's blessed our family with.